Data centres are often located in rooms with limited access, more often than not in basements or somewhere equally out of the way. Negotiating a large 19-inch cabinet through corridors, stairs and narrow doorways can often add significant time to the installation process, especially in applications where many cabinets are required. Fortunately, Retex UK has solved this problem with the new Logic 2 flat pack rack. Not only does it reduce volume by up to 70% during delivery, which actually trebles the efficiency of each delivery load, it also allows just two people to carry even a large 47U rack into position. The flat pack design is extremely simple and Retex claims that it can be assembled in under five minutes. This video aims to test that claim as I help Chris to assemble this 42U cabinet. So having unpacked the cabinet and put everything down in its place, Chris is going to have a go at meeting the target of under five minutes for the construction. As you'll see, there aren't too many components which should help to make things simple. Everything is supplied apart from a flat-headed screwdriver, which we, you will need for some um, quarter-turn screws. Chris has decided to use his electric screwdriver just to speed things up a little bit, but it would normally come with an Allen key, which you can use to do it yourself. You happy you've got everything in place? Oh, I think we're good to go. Okay, under five minutes, <laughs> start the clock. We're starting off by putting the frame together which is constructed of aluminium, which keeps the weight down, which is good for delivery and for putting the, it all together. But it also makes sure that the frame's nice and strong. And then the profiles of pressed steel, again, for just the added protection against any potential knocks. What's important to note is once constructed, this rack is just as strong as any other standard rack on the market and can easily support over 1,500 kilograms of static load. While Chris is just finishing off this part of the build, I'll just point out that all the internal connections have already been made and supplied complete. This obviously means that there's less stages to do during the build, which keeps the installation time down and keeps things simple. It also makes sure that you can't make a mistake, which could compromise the safety of the equipment once it's all loaded. Okay, so I'll introduce the other side, making sure that we get the door catches opposing each other. So Chris, you're doing this pretty quickly. Have you done many of these before? I've never had to do a Retex cabinet before, no. So, so I've just had a quick look through the instructions and to be honest, they're fairly straightforward. If you come around here and have a look, you'll see that the profile is fitting really flush to the frame. And that's just because it's all been precision machined, which just makes sure that you don't need to put any additional fasteners along the edges of the profile, which again would just take more time and mean you're more likely to lose some components. So that. that's the frame all put together. What are we going to do now? Uh, we've got some feet. Okay, so you want to put the feet nuts. on over here. The lock nuts go onto the feet just so you can adjust the height easily if you've got a slightly uneven floor. What are you doing here, Chris? Okay, so we've got the covers going on now. So the covers are attached just to give the whole cabinet a slightly more aesthetic look, covering up all the, the joining parts. You can actually order the covers in different colours, which is fantastic for a data centre manager who might want to keep note of which rack is holding which equipment. The lid, I'll just quickly show, it's got all the ventilation that's required on it, which just means that you get a nice through flow of air once the equipment's installed. Now, if your application requires a little bit more ventilation, you can order a door with uh, a wiring mesh rather than glass, which just increases the airflow into the cabinet. Some people using a controlled data centre environment that's incredibly clean may even choose not to specify a door just to maximise the airflow. But that, that's really down um, for you to decide on an application to application basis. Because you've done the door catches opposite sides when you put the sides together, you can choose whether which is going to be the front and which is going to be the back. and all that's remaining is the door. The door's are spring-loaded, so there are no additional tools needed to put it together. You can just slot it into place. Stop the clock. There you have it. Put together in four minutes and 46 seconds, which is just under the five minute limit. Now this is a bit of fun today, but if you imagine you've got a data center with 10, 20, maybe even 100 or so cabinets in it, and you're reducing the installation time by that much, you can reduce the time that it takes to install a real-world application by days sometimes. In fact, some customers have reported that they've reduced their estimated installation time by as much as 75%, which does translate into real-world savings.